Okay, now this is the new motherboard I'm going to put in there. It's the P8 P67 Deluxe, top of the line motherboard, Sandy Bridge, and I'm going to put a Core i7 Sandy Bridge processor in there. So I'm going to open this up. If you want, you can check out the unboxing of all the components currently in this machine, any components I'm pulling out of the machine, or any of the components I'm putting in the machine, I have unboxings for all of them. So if you want to check the unboxing out on this, go right ahead and check out my channel. All right, here is the brand new motherboard. I'm going to pull that out, put that over here, and it kind of goes with a, the blue theme I have in this, which fits a little bit better than the red one, the red motherboard. I'm going to pop out the old IO shield back here from that motherboard and put that to the side. And I'm going to put the new IO shield in. It's going to go in this way. So I'm just going to match everything up and snap it in. Okay. Okay, we've got the motherboard out and what we want to do is put the new one in. Now one of you guys commented on the previous video when I was originally building this that you can take the 8 pin and run it back this way behind the motherboard so that it doesn't reach across the motherboard like this. So we're actually going to try that out. I'm going to reroute this back through here and up and through and that way I just make the case a little bit cleaner even though the back of this thing on the, on the, on the opposite side here basically a rat's nest back there. Fortunately, you don't see any of that because it's, you know, there's no glass or anything there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the other side and I'm going to reroute this through here and hopefully this works out for me. Just pull this side off and as you can see, got all my cords there. Now this is the 8 pin here for the power supply. And I'm just going to pull it out from here and I'm going to want to route it up through here. So we're probably going to remove the back again, but for now I'm going to put it back on just to keep these cords under control here. There we go. I'm just going to put one of the screws back in, just in case I have to get back here again. Okay, now as you can see, the 8 pin is behind here, and the 24 pin is here. So let's see how that works. I'm going to put this up to the side here, get it out of the way, and we're going to take the motherboard and put it in here, and now let's pull the motherboard out. Now one thing you need to do before touching any important components, I've already done it but I'm going to do it again here, is you need to ground yourself. So just touch anything that's metal that's grounded, just so you don't you know, throw a shock into the, the circuit board here. I'm going to pull this out here. And there we go, that's some other board. Now something that's interesting on the back here that I didn't show you when I was unboxing it, it has a Bluetooth module right there built right into it. So that's going to come in handy. I don't want to try that out when I sync it with my phone. You've got regular USB ports here. You have eSATA. You have on the back, you have two, let's see if I can rest it here. You have two USB 3.0s. You have two LANs here. You have obviously your audio here and uh, Firewire and two eSATAs here, optical out. And one thing to note, this is the highest end P8, P67 board that they make. Match everything up into the I.O. shield here and 
match up the screws, the screw holes. Now let's start with one up here in the center. We'll put that one in just to get everything started. And then we'll plug in this 8-pin over here, power supply, into the motherboard. Now, of course, I've said it before in other videos, and I'll say it again. When you're tightening down components, you want to make sure that it's snug, but not over-tightened, because these are electrical boards, basically, and you don't want to over-tighten them and crack them. So, now that while this is still a little bit flexible here, I'm going to bend this wire up here and just plug this 8-pin from the power supply here. It runs all the way from here behind into the cord management system area behind there and it runs up through here and hopefully all out of the way and I'll just plug it in here. If I can maneuver this around here. There we go. Alright, I don't know if you heard it snap in there, but it snapped in real nice. And of course, it has a tab on there so that uh, it won't come off. But now it's out of the way. It's not going to be running across any of the RAM or anything like that. And I'm going to have to get behind there again anyway because I'm going to have to put the mounts on for the CPU cooler. But uh, I'll, I'll straighten that up in a bit. But for right now, everything's good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the other eight screws and mount this motherboard down. And then we can go and start plugging things in and putting the CPU in and CPU cooler and all that. Now if you've done everything correctly, all the screw holes should match up perfectly. Three down. Four down. Five to go. Six down, three to go. Last one. It's kind of tight in here because it's right by the eight pin power supply. There we go. Not so bad. Okay, so we have the motherboard mounted down and I have the eight pin from the power supply attached in. Might as well attach the 24 pin over here. And it's just real simple. You just plug it in and make sure it snaps in. There we go. You hear it snap in? It's ready to go. So now the motherboard is attached and it's attached to the power supply. The next thing we're going to do is real simple. We're going to put in the RAM. 